Would you drink elephant poop coffee? Most expensive in the world. Hey guys, today we're going to know if you would drink the elephant poop coffee. Let's get right into it. Coffee connoisseurs have been looking for unusual ways to make the perfect brew since the Kopi Luwak craze began more than a decade ago. Kopi Luwak is an Indonesian coffee that was originally made from partially digested beans defecated by wild palm civets, with the animal's gastric process aiding in the improvement of the coffee's flavor. However, as the Luwak brand was tainted by allegations that some producers were force-feeding cage civets and others were selling counterfeit blends, a Thai entrepreneur expanded the operation. Blake Dinkin, owner of Black Ivory Coffee Co., does not process his beans with civets. He employs elephants. Can you imagine drinking a cup of coffee that costs $50 per serving? If you're wondering why it's so expensive, we're sure the answer will leave you perplexed. Yes, the world's rarest and most expensive coffee variant can cost up to $2,000 per kilogram and is extracted from elephant poop. The unusual and rare variant of coffee beans are extracted from elephant dung. The mere thought of diving into a cup of coffee made straight from elephant poop can leave you feeling disgusted. But coffee aficionados swear by its unusual and nutty flavor, making it a pure sip of luxury. The process of extraction, in which these coffee beans are naturally fermented by elephants, is what makes the elephant dung coffee so expensive. The villagers handpick the raw coffee beans, which are sun-dried and prepared into a meal for the elephants, by combining rice, bananas, fruit water and coffee beans. Elephants consume this meal, after which the elephants defecate and the fermented coffee beans are manually extracted, cleaned and processed. This coffee blend is the most expensive due to its earthy flavor, and it is manufactured by Black Ivory Coffee Company Limited in a small province of Surin, Thailand, which is managed by Blake Dinkin. The taste of black ivory coffee is influenced by elephants' digestive enzymes, which breaks down the coffee's protein. The company claims to rescue elephants from tourist trade abuse. At 2,000 US dollars per kilogram, black ivory coffee is one of the world's most expensive coffees. The coffee is sold by the producer to select luxury hotels for $50 per cup. The coffee is also available for purchase online. So, what's the process like? First, a Mahout washes his elephant in Bantaklang Elephant Village in Thailand. Dinkin and an elephant owner prepare a banana, rice bran and coffee cherry mixture. Dinkin began making civet coffee in Ethiopia in 2002, but switched after an elephant in a Canadian zoo was fed coffee. He opened Black Ivory Coffee in Chiang Rai in October 2012, before moving to Bantaklang in Surin Province. Elephants can suck the beans through their trunks in a slushy fruit mixture, a kind of pachyderm smoothie, in addition to eating them. Dinkin believes that the elephant's diet is critical and that they should have the option of not eating the coffee cherries. The elephants at Bang Teklang, like most captive elephants in Thailand, are chained or under the control of a mahout for part of the day, a practice criticized by animal rights organizations. Dinkin says he collaborates with the Golden Triangle Asian Elephant Foundation to teach Mahouts humane training methods. A family separates coffee cherries from elephant dung. Dinkin pays workers about $10 to extract the coffee beans from the manure, which is a good wage in Thailand for 15 minutes of work. Local laborers earn about $6 per day harvesting rice. In Ban Teklang, coffee cherries are separated from elephant dung. The elephant's stomach enzymes break down the proteins that cause bitterness, resulting in a smoother flavor once the partially digested bean emerges from the other end. Two women wash coffee cherries before hanging them to dry. Dinkin claims that the caffeine in coffee does not harm elephants because the shell keeps the caffeine-bearing oils locked inside and the beans must be heated to extract the drug. A Thai woman takes out the coffee beans that have been accumulated. Black Ivory Coffee now employs approximately 27 elephants and anticipates producing approximately 150 kilograms in the 2017 harvest. Dinkin says he's been invited to expand production in Southeast Asia and Africa but he prefers to take his time. A coffee bean is cut in half to see if it has completely dried. The coffee bean has spread to every corner of the globe and consumption is on the rise. Last year, we drank the equivalent of nearly 1.3 trillion espresso shots worldwide. Black Ivory Coffee Co. Limited created this coffee at the Golden Triangle Asian Elephant Foundation in Chiang Sein, an elephant refuge that cares for rescued elephants. Black Ivory Coffee is now grown in Surin Province in Northeast Thailand rather than the Golden Triangle. The coffee is produced by approximately 20 elephants at the foundation. The Golden Triangle Asian Elephant Foundation receives 8% of Black Ivory Coffee company sales, which is used to fund the elephants' health care. The elephants are not harmed by the consumption of coffee cherries and veterinary tests concluded that caffeine 
is not absorbed from the coffee cherries they consume. There's no denying that the mere thought of drinking this coffee sounds revolting, but coffee connoisseurs say the distinct taste and flavor make it worth the hype and the price. The dung beans are filtered and processed, and the coffee beans are perfectly crushed. Delectable unroasted beans with chocolatey notes, earthy and nutty flavors distinguish this rare cup of joe. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.